Frick. Coming up on Channel 4, sponsored by the Elmo School District, the Dyer, Kirkendall, and Walker family, and Edward Dexter, we'll be talking about a road in Springdale that's too small for the school buses. Electronic theft is up for the holidays. Insurgents hack U.S. drones, and a restaurant in Van Buren burns down. We'll also be talking about the box office ratings later on. And weather we will talk about. A cool down Saturday and Sunday, a warming trend, and then a really cold Christmas, maybe with even a chance of winter weather. In sports, we will talk about the death of Chris Henry and the Razorback basketball team. This is a Christmas special brought to you by Channel 4 News. Channel 4 News covers your people. Trey Dyer. Jack Walker. And Blake Kirk. We're wild. We're crazy. We're cool. Because we are Channel 4. Now let's go to the train with the news. Residents living near Springdale say it's only a matter of time before someone gets hurt going to and from school. Bus drivers say that Ball Street, the main street to get to the school, is too narrow. But even though the cities agree, Elm Springs and Springdale, the issue is the money. To solve the problem, the police chief has sent a letter to Springdale asking that the bus routes be changed to alleviate traffic on Ball Street. As the holidays come closer, the emptier the store shelves become, and not all the items taken are paid for. The FBI states that electronic theft has skyrocketed in the past three years, but that's not the case in Best Buys around the world, around Arkansas. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Bunzel says that's due to moving to a new location with more security cameras and security guards and plain clothing. Today, the Pentagon closed a security breach that allowed insurgents to hack into data feeds from some of the U.S. drones. The software used to hack the drones cost $25. The problem has been dealt with, and maybe we can get an upper hand on them. An early Thursday morning, the El Lorito on Broadway Avenue in Van Buren caught fire. The restaurant is said to be a total loss, and is what appears to be a grease fire. Now let's go to Blake. Yes, I'm Blake Kirkendall, and it's time to go to the Max 4 Interactive Weather. Let's have a look at our Max 4 radar. As you can see, it is clear. Our satellite and radar our satellite and radar. Here we have the big rain that was all that was from stretching from Houston and Mobile, Alabama yesterday. Um, up here in Seattle right now, this is our next system and this I believe will come in at next Thursday and or actually next Wednesday mainly. Here's our satellite and radar. You can see up in Missouri, there's some pink. This is a winter mix. Um, don't be surprised if, like, Rogers or any of y'all, if y'all see a few flurries. Our current temperatures in Rogers, 39, Fayetteville, 43, and Fort Smith, 47. Our seven-day, Saturday and Sunday, will cool down to 26 as the low on Sunday, and Tuesday and Wednesday, this will be that rain system I was showing you now, and then Thursday, we will cool down a lot with highs at 32 and a low at 25. Now, let's go to Jack Walker for school. Basketball squad suspensions are almost over, but there's another major problem. Several members of the Arkansas basketball team may have violated NCAA rules by appearing in Northwest Arkansas's Celebrate Arkansas magazine in what could be considered a clothing advertisement. 
Rodney Clark, Courtney Fortune, and Jeff Peterson were featured as the cover story for the magazine. But under each player's write-up, the magazine included the source where the clothing they were wearing was bought, could be bought. There are NCAA bylaws that clearly state athletes aren't to be used in advertising commercial products. Such use could result in the player becoming ineligible. Not good, especially since they're already suspended. Michael Washington scored 22 points against Alabama State, with Rodney Clark, the Hogs' leading scorer, sideline with tendonitis of the knee. Um, and on news, redemption stories are the best kind of stories. If someone's failed, lost their way, or made more mistakes than we deem acceptable, I always find myself on that guy's side. I'm not there supporting what they've done or making excuses for them, but hoping hoping that they'll find a way to be better, hoping that they'll learn from their mistakes, grow, and become the person they could be. In one way or another, I think we're all striving for that. That's what Bengals wide receiver Chris Henry was doing when he lost his life this morning after falling out of a truck reportedly driven by his fiancée. He turned from a thug to an inspiration. God bless him. He was 26. Then we the box office this weekend, top of the charts, or... Lowering charts at number 10, Ninja Assassin. Uh, hmm. Action with ninjas. I like ninjas, just, no. No. Don't, I, I don't recommend it. Uh, number 9, Armored. I, I, I don't really know what that's about. Do any of y'all know what that's about? Nope. No. No. Uh, number 8, 2012. If you've seen our last episode, you know what we think about it. Blake, haven't you heard something about 2012? Yes, on NASA.gov, um, they have this big thing about 2012. And it is saying that the world will not end in 2012. And they do not see, or it doesn't look like any sign of the world any anytime soon. So That's good to know. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just stick with it. Be all right. Oh, number seven, Old Dogs. Have you seen that, Blake? Yes, it is a fantastic movie and same cast as Wild Dogs. Terrific. Number five, wait, six brothers. Uh, it has Tobey Maguire, who is in the army, and he, he his wife is told that he is dead, and his wife finds Tobey's brother. And they get together, you know. And then eventually Toby's not dead. He comes back and flips out. Pretty good movie looking movie, I say. Oh, number five, Christmas Carol, what? Number four, Twilight Saga, New Moon. Don't even get me started. Number three, Invictus. Looks like a terrific movie. I'm dying to see it. It has Clint Eastwood as the director, and then Morgan Freeman as Nelson Mandela, and it talks about the South African rugby team bringing their country together. Looks pretty good. Has Matt Damon. Uh, number two, The Blind Side. We've all seen that, haven't we? It's pretty good. It has a. Uh, it's about a a country girl helping out. A uh, kid from the streets, go come in college athlete, football player, and he's still on the Ravens. His name's Michael Orr. True story. Uh, number one, Princess and the Frog. <laughs> I, I can't say anything. I, I just I'm speechless. All right, that's about it. Time for our donation. Okay, air donation. Uh, today, actually, December 18th at 4 o'clock, the Junior Varsity Airedales will start playing. I hope to see you there. These two won't be there. I will. Uh, go Airedales. You know, the usual. Okay. Anything else? I think that's it. Is that a wrap? I think that's, that's a wrap. This is a wrap-up of Channel 4 News. Coverage that you can count on.